Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Thailand and welcome to Wurmpen Weekends Week 34. Now back in week 33, you saw me repopulate bin one with a handful of worms from bins two and three. Very select few worms were left and I have a feeling what's happened is a combination of just a lot of time between feedings and moisture and it's been hot that may have contributed to the dwindling numbers that I've been seeing in those two bins over these past couple weeks. So what we're gonna do tonight is just a quick basic check-in on bins two and three, give everybody a really good feeding in both those bins. And then as far as bin one goes, you guys, it's still gonna take a little time for that to settle in. Uh, just a little snap of it right now. As you can see, there's some sprouts that are coming up from the pumpkin, most likely from the cycle. So they're still getting settled in over there, which is good. I'm gonna let that go probably about another week before I check in on it. Maybe longer, just depends. And uh, probably gonna give it a little moisture off camera tonight. But with all that being said, let's check in on bins two and three and get a good feeding in and go from there. All right, week 34, bin two. Let's dig in. Castings look amazing. I'm gonna probably harvest off camera. I won't bore you with that again. I did get uh, something a little bit better to harvest with, but I'll do that at a different time so we can just kind of focus in on how the worms are doing. Now, bin two was the one whose population was really, really slight, if you recall from last week. So let's start over here on the corners. Let's see how things are looking. this on the camera. I'm going to try. Um, worms are really, really tiny, you guys. Real, real tiny. I don't know if you can see that. I have a lot of trouble getting my camera adjusted, but they're extremely, extremely small in here. And it's like I said last week, I didn't even really find a one really large size adult. And I think that this is more to do with the fact that it was really overpopulated to begin with. There's a real small one on my first finger. Hmm. Um, the bins were really overpopulated to begin with, all three of them were. And uh, yeah, that's remnant from bin one. And I think that probably contributed to their shrinking size. Now, population, as far as that goes, it could be that the larger size worms that were originally in here, you know, mated and then um, kind of gave up the ghost. Yeah, you can see there's there's not any progress at all in this fruit from the week before. In fact, there's worms on it. Right there at the tip end the one in the middle there. There's, there's worms definitely on the food, but uh, yeah, this is gonna take some time for this population to grow in size. And I don't mean, you know, by numbers, I mean by actual physical size. These, these worms are very small. And I've got an idea for that. I was actually having this discussion with another YouTuber that's been keeping them for a while now. And he said the thing that he did to bulk them up was he got a really good non-GMO oatmeal, he powderized it, and he gave that as a dry feed to them in addition to other foods. Because they really do like their food, but if they don't get fed, often they get small like this. Which, I mean, and that's sad to say, but these are some of the larger, larger ones that I've seen in here. But, uh, so that's what we'll do. We're gonna, we're gonna give them a really good feeding tonight. Um, I think the, the compost is something that's also helping that and, and I, I don't know the science behind this or why but the compost the crushed up powderized eggshell uh, it, it seems to help them out quite a bit so I'm going to uh, set up the feeding zone here and we'll check the other side after I get them fed down the middle but uh, I want to um, I want to get some good foods in here and get some more bedding in here and uh, I will do some harvesting off the camera. It'll be easier for me, and frankly, I know you guys have seen it before, so it would just be old hat at this point to continue to film that kind of stuff. So, uh, what I really hope I end up 
having happen here with both bins, all, all three bins actually, is that yeah, the worms start to grow in size. I think that's going to happen. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Well, let's get some bedding down. Okay. Uh, each one of the bins is getting a share of some cucumbers and some really long Thai eggplant. Now, I know you guys are probably familiar with the smaller ones that you see like in green curry. Uh, these are longer. They also use these quite a bit, but they're not as popular as the smaller size ones. Let's see. Those. Maybe one more. A couple chilies. Because everybody loves it spicy. And a couple tomatoes. Let's see. One right there. I should say. And then some more bedding. I think the other thing that is definitely going to help them to grow is going to be to make sure that I keep uh, the moisture content uh, pretty high this hot season, this summer. So while I'm still going to be trying to harvest out the castings, probably what I'll do at different points during the week is after I take the castings out, I'm going to add more bedding in and I will also add moisture at that time. Now these foods that I just gave them are also very moist, so I almost forgot the, uh, the long beans. You know what, that's okay, let's do this. Put those right on top, just cover it up. It's encouraging to see worms in here, even though they're small. I think it's just going to take some consistency in the watering, maybe just getting in some fresher bedding, getting these castings out, that's going to help as well. I mean, there's there's definitely, there's worms in here, and you can see them, but they're very, very small. For African eye crawlers, this is extremely small. So, we're gonna, I'm going to try my buddy's idea on some uh, powderized oatmeal. Provided I can find some that's actually non GMO. Yeah, we'll give that a roll. If not, then I'll just move forward with what I was planning on doing, which is just fresh veg and uh, powderized eggshell. This side over here really sunk in a lot, though. Let's do it. Can see what we got going on. Yeah. I added moisture, a pretty good amount, last week, and it's just as dry right now as it was last week before I even added it. So it's it's definitely going to need weekly moisture through this hot period so that they don't uh, give up the ghost, so to speak. You know, I, I want to make sure that they're okay. Yeah, I didn't see much over here in the way of worms. I mean, they're, they're here, smaller ones. Very small. Okay, but that's it for bin two, really. I need to uh, try to see if I can't collect up some of the last remaining um, dry leaves that might be out on the ground, but it's raining right now. And uh, if I don't do it soon, I, I won't find anything until we hit the cold season. But that has been two. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. Um, Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody. Uh, if you haven't joined my channel, am I, excuse me, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love it if you give consideration to doing that as well. And uh, hit the bell notification icon if you would, so that you can be alerted to when I upload new content. Listen, wherever you are in this world today or tonight, you take care. Bye for now.